Hello everyone and welcome. My name is Fernando, a GP in the United Kingdom. Today we'll be doing a quick revision on hypertension and we will do it by reviewing a mind map that I have made based on the NICE guideline on hypertension. Therefore, this episode will be fairly short, but make sure that you stay for its entirety because at the end I am going to tell you how you can download the mind map and I will also tell you about a mini ebook that I have created that summarizes the guidance, as always, from a primary care perspective. Please note that this is my interpretation of the guidelines, not medical advice. Always use your clinical judgment when treating your patients. Remember to check the podcast version in the description below. So with that said, let's dive in. I hope that you enjoyed the episode. So let me introduce you to the mind map, and here it is. We're going to quickly navigate through it. So we're going to start in the center of the mind map where it tells us about the guideline NG136. And here we see that it applies to people aged 18 and over, including those with type 2 diabetes. It also tells us that the updated guideline in March 2022 gives us new targets and new advice on drug treatment for cardiovascular disease. It also reminds us that when measuring the blood pressure, we need to consider pulse irregularity when using automated devices, and we should also consider postural hypotension, as well as the need to measure the blood pressure in both arms and to repeat the measurement if the difference is greater than 15 millimeters of mercury. When it comes to diagnosis, if the clinic blood pressure is over 140 over 90, then we will need to arrange ambulatory blood pressure monitoring or alternatively home blood pressure monitoring. And if the average is above 135 over 85, then we will confirm the diagnosis. In terms of lifestyle interventions, we will recommend a healthy diet, regular exercise, reduced alcohol, avoid excessive caffeine, as well as low dietary sodium and smoking cessation. In respect of monitoring, we will remember that we need to use the clinic blood pressure for monitoring purposes, although in some specific situations ambulatory or home blood pressure monitoring may be used. And we will base the blood pressure targets on age and comorbidities, as well as remembering the need for an annual review. When it comes to investigations, we will assess for secondary causes, we will estimate the cardiovascular risk, and we will assess for target organ damage. This assessment will comprise of at least a urine sample for albumin-creatinine ratio, a number of blood tests, fundoscopy, and an ECG. For urgent same-day referral, we will consider patients with a clinic blood pressure of 180 over 120 or more, with one of the following, either life-threatening symptoms, retinal hemorrhage, or papilledema, as well as if we suspect pheochromocytoma. Going back to the centre of the mind map, we're now going to focus on the antihypertensive drug treatment. And we need to remember that we need to review the treatment when type 2 diabetes is diagnosed, as well as considering individual factors and medication safety when treating patients. And this treatment will follow a stepwise approach. Step one is when we give one drug. And this can be an ACE inhibitor or ARB if the patient has diabetes, regardless of age and ethnicity or if the patient is less than 55 years of age and not of Afro-Caribbean family origin. Or alternatively, we can give a calcium channel blocker if the patient is of Afro-Caribbean family origin and has no diabetes, or if the patient is over 55 and has no diabetes. Step 2 is when we give two drugs, and it could be any one of these combinations, an ACE inhibitor or ARB and a calcium channel blocker, an ACE inhibitor or ARB and a thiazide like diuretic, or a calcium channel blocker and a thiazide diuretic. Step 3 is when we give three drugs, and this would be an ACE inhibitor or ARB, a calcium channel blocker and a thiazide like diuretic. And step 4 is when you give four drugs. 
If this happens, we will say that the patient has resistant hypertension and we will consider specialist referral. But if we decide to treat ourselves, we will give triple therapy with an ACE inhibitor or ARP, a calcium channel blocker and a thalassite like diuretic, and we will check the potassium. If the potassium is less than 4.5, we will give spironolactone. And if the potassium is more than 4.5, we will give an alpha blocker or a beta blocker. And finally, we have a section giving definitions and terms used, such as accelerated hypertension, which is when the blood pressure is over 180 of 120 with retinal involvement, also masked hypertension, as well as the three stages of hypertension. Right, so this is it. This is the end of the mind map tour. As promised, let me tell you about the downloads. Just click in the episode description and there you will find a link to download the mind map for free without needing to provide your email address or any other information. You will also find two other links to download the two versions of the mini ebook that I have created. The first one is a printer friendly ebook for those of you who would like to have a physical copy in your hands. It is more condensed and has therefore fewer pages. It is in black and white text, so you will not be wasting ink unnecessarily on pictures or background colours. The second version is a fully digital clickable ebook. It has a few more pages as well as photographs and links to further information. Furthermore, under each section of the mind map, there is a button that says more, and if you click on it, you will be taken directly to the section of the summary that refers to it, followed by a button to take you back to the mind map. Over the next few episodes, I will be producing more material similar to this, so make sure to stay tuned. But please let me reiterate again that this is only a summary and my interpretation of the guideline. Please let me know your views in the comment section below. We have come to the end of this video. I hope that you have found it useful, and if so, please hit the like and subscribe buttons. Thank you for watching, and goodbye.